ओके ओके गाइस नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द थर्ड काइंड ऑफ बायो रिएक्टर और द प्लग फ्लो बायो रिएक्टर This is totally different than the two type of bio reactors we have talked before. One is the air lift, another one is the stirred tank, and also the tower uh, reactor. Now, in this plug flow bio reactor, uh, this type of bio reactor is used not for the liquid processing but for the solid handling or solid processing. So, it is used for the solid processing. Now, where we need to process the solids? Remember, remember the wastewater treatment after. Uh, taking out all those watery content, we end up with sludge. Now the sludge, we need to process the sludge for the further usage. So we need to process those solids. So sludge is a semi-solid material. So we can use this type of materials utilizing the plug flow reactor to have a proper uh, interaction or to have a proper type of uh, desired product. Now the desired product in this case is 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 uh, the landfills, right? So the composts. and all the watery part will be absorbed and taken out so what happens in case of this plug flow reactor we are having a line of pipe so it's a pipe like structure as you can see now this structure may look like a simple small u like structure but it is a very very long even sometimes this is uh, some one or two miles apart it it is this this plug uh, this this pipe like structure is placed underground one or two miles so here is here comes the in, inlet so this is the inlet this is the start point and this is the outlet or the end point now what what is what they are doing is they are just placing this underground in few stretch of distance but it is placing in in this u orientation not the straight orientation in this u orientation why they are placing it in the u orientation because we need two face which is inlet and outlet to be at the nearer distance so rest of the part it should be say start point and end point rest of the part say like this it is uh, like that but we don't bother about that but we need inlet and outlet at a closer proximity because we need to check the product we need to check the substrate which is entering at the inlet we need to check the product which is getting out from the outlet rest of the things is going on inside the fermenter and we never want to go inside the fermenter are we right so we never want to go inside a fermenter though it's look look like a tunnel but we never want to go inside because lot of things are going on and lot of de deadly bacteria and bacteria are growing to compose those uh, sludge because which is uh, a product of uh, the waste water so we don't need to go inside there because it's not a pretty sight so what is going on here we are having this uh, waste water sludge so sludge is moving Now sludge when when for example uh, changing change the color okay say this is the sludge so these are the watery sludge semi solid sludge now as the sludge is moving at this direction it is changing its in consistency it is changing in its physical and chemical properties because microorganisms are added at this particular region so let us add microorganisms microorganisms are added now microorganisms are uh, utilizing the nutrients that are present in the sludge and then a uh, convert it into some compost like thing okay so no longer they won't be dangerous so they will be a compost we can utilize them as landfills okay now here microorganisms are present at the sludge most of the cases we don't require to add microorganisms from the outside because sludge is containing all the microorganisms but what happens here this microorganisms that are present in the sludge we are providing a suitable environment to them now this suitable environment will help them to be converted into non toxic type of materials non toxic type of solid material so for this intoxication of the sludge and producing this compost things or manures we need to produce we need to run those sludge through this plug flow by reactor now remember the term plug flow so it's kind of flow but not the liquid which is flowing so we are continuously getting pressure from this direction it is just moving out like that and finally it will come here okay so again a uh, most important point of this type of fermenter is that so here at the beginning of uh, where, from where we are just adding those sludge suppose we take a little bit of region we take out a sludge and and examine it for its chemical and physical property we find a particular chemical and physical property now after it travels this region and we take a plug again from this region 
where it is almost done processing so it will be very much less toxic so almost done processing and we take and look for the chemical and physical property now the chemical and physical property of this plug which we uh, get from this region will vary from the chemical and physical property of the plug we get at the beginning because it is modified during this time so in this fermenter this is not a homogeneous mixing in this fermenter plug from one region will vary in their concentration of reactants from one place to another place it will vary in the consistency of the components it will vary in the concentration of different component and reactants from different regions so from this region it will it may a different uh, type of consistency from this it will be different from this it will be different from this uh, this it will be totally different so the consistency and the materials that are present in those plugs will vary from one one region to another region inside this plug flow by reactor so the com concentrations of the, of the reactant will vary right now in case of uh, other type of fermenter like air lip fermenter or most of the liquid fermenters we are having mixing and agitation so whatever we get we, if we take a liquid from here we are having a type of property if we take it from here so if we take those materials from different regions properties physical and chemical properties and also the concentration of different materials will be same for the different regions but in case of this plug for reactor this will vary okay so these are the difference of uh, plug flow reactor 